Buju, Kinamagi Nene Ireland Indigenous, and welcome to an overview of our week five learning plan and announcements. We'll begin this week's episode, much like every other episode, with a look at our stream page. And this page is what students would see when they enter our Google Classroom. That's also a good spot for me to start when talking with you at home about what we're doing. As always, it's easy for students to access this and contact me, clicking the email here, or by sending me a text at my Google Voice number. Quite often it is easier through text, and then I can always call back as well. Um, if you're going to text, please leave your name and your student's name so that I know who I'm maybe getting a hold of. Please also note that private information will not be shared over text. We have this week's newsletter, which we'll be talking about here in just a moment. We have our week four at a glance, which was last week's video, and then some old newsletters, our breakfast and lunch menu. So let's start with that newsletter. At the top of our newsletter this week, and this will be sent home with students today, the 16th. Just a reminder to parents, we do um, assign homework on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and this is to teach responsibility. They're usually very short assignments, so the students get to kind of get used to the idea of having to take things home and bring it back. We know that in middle school, they will have homework, and this is to kind of set them up for success there. Any other work that they have to bring home to finish would be unfinished classwork that they did not have time or they were absent or some other reason that they didn't get it completed during the day. Do you want to note that next Wednesday is a half day for professional development. Students will be dismissed at noon. Lunch is served. Students who normally ride the bus to the gym after school should be picked up by noon at SCA. There's also no school on Friday the 23rd in honor of Anishinaabek Gijagat, or as you may see on the calendar there's somewhere, Michigan Indian Day. So you have a long weekend there. We are also scheduled to begin our NWEA testing next week. And of course, this is always subject to change with technology. The plan is to test on Tuesday and Thursday mornings. And the objective of this is twofold. One, to get a baseline score so that we can measure your students growth throughout the year when we test again in January and then at the end of the year. But it also gives me information about areas that the student is struggling on and areas that they're ready to be ready to learn. So we can adjust your students learning in order to best fit their needs. As always, whenever testing is happening, we advise that students get a good night's rest and eat a healthy breakfast. Of course, I would advise that every day. Uh, we do serve breakfast here at SCA if your student chooses, or they could choose one at home. We tend to test more in the morning hours versus the afternoon when the students have had a full day's work already. And a good night's rest is very important. Uh, we all know what it feels like when we wake up for work or school and we're didn't get enough rest and feel in it. Um, that's not a recipe for our best work. And therefore, we want our students to have that opportunity to be as successful as possible. Looking down at what we're learning, uh, we're continuing the chapter on multiplication now. If your student is struggling, it's not a bad idea to purchase some flashcards. We'll continue working on the algorithm here, but up for those math facts. Um, I recommend just dollar store flashcards. The difference between a $5 pack of flashcards and a $1 pack of flashcards or even homemade flashcards is, well, the price you pay. There is no other difference than math facts are the same. Language arts, we're completing a unit on civics and now we'll be moving a little more into the nuts and bolts of reading and different story types. In social studies, we are concluding a brief unit on the uh, on the um, 
regions, and we'll be looking at more how Indigenous Americans adapted to their regions and were what resources were available to them in those spe specific regions. In science, we are utilizing history science. We are just getting into our second lesson next week on the web of life. Just a reminder, electronics are expected to be turned off in, in the office. I do hold on to electronics in my drawer if your student is more comfortable with that. Um, students that are caught on electronics outside of that will have them taken away and likely to be picked up by you. All right, let's come back to here right now. I did have it raised up to me that some concerns with Remind and accessing it. Um, so I'm putting up the screen right here and I'm going to send home the link as part of this email. Um, I'm not gonna put it publicly in the video, but you could also try texting at DH2C8F to this number here. Um, if it's not working, 81010. These reminders are helpful for things like field trips or testing. Um, these are not the same as what you'll get from the front office if you sign up for our the app, which I'll mention here in a moment, blog here. But we use these on a little less frequent basis, but if I know that a field trip's coming and I'm like, hey, everybody needs to bring their permission slips, this is a quick way to send a message to you. And speaking of shameless plugs, our SCA uh, webpage is part of sagchipschool.net. And you can see that we have a live feed with messages from leadership and the administration, including from Project Aware, K-12, SCA itself, Tribal Education Department. You can see that there's a healing walk tomorrow, September 17th. And at 10.30 a.m., beginning at the Tribal Gym, and they'll be walking to 7th Gen. And as I click read more here, um, there's going to be walking tacos, which is worth it to join us right there. Um, bring your friends, families, and children or grandparents. You can decorate strollers or wagons. Lots of free giveaways, t-shirts, bracelets, goodie bags, resources, stickers, face painting table. Stations make your own crafts, medicine pouches. So I strongly encourage you to visit the event. Also a reminder, you can reach teacher pages by clicking on the menu. And you can see right here, teacher pages. You'll find, for me, you'll find me, but you can check out other ones as well. Uh, the bio isn't the important part of this page. The link right here is. And you can see that these learning plans and notes like days off are posted here. Um, it's not the only place so these things will be posted. And you'll get this learning plan in an email. But if you just happen to be on your phone and want to check there, this is a good place to go. Speaking of our learning plan, Next week, as you can see, some off time and half day schedule. We'll be looking at some shorter stories and doing close reading. Uh, then we, in writing, we're continuing on our personal narrative. Math, we're continuing with multiplication. Science, we're a step away from mystery science just due to the short week. Some of the stuff will be based off of science A to Z, and mystery Doug is a student favorite. Uh, we were watch and discuss social studies. You can see we're now into the third lesson of first unit, and we'll be talking again about uh, indigenous regions, cultural regions. Math review and enrichment, again, is always set up to either review something we've already done or to uh, provide some extra to get students to feel, like, feel good about their chances later on by saying, okay, we're gonna try a little bit of division even though we're not there. Or we'll do a little bit of algebra even though we're not there. Things that'll show up well on the testing, but it'll also help them be more prepared when we do cover those materials or if they see it next year. You see our regular tech, there's not a lot going on here, typing and code.org. Code.org is a classroom favorite as well. All of these tech options are available to students. Um, 
via the Google Classroom for use on their own time. So if your student's really into code.org, you don't have to just do it at school. We don't assign specific things so that students can kind of move at their own pace. The web blog, and you can see that we are introducing handwriting back to the curriculum next week. Uh, otherwise, we're doing ST Math, Khan Academy, Prodigies, a, a class favorite, Legends of Learning is a class favorite. Uh, normally, we would have words their way, but this week coming up, it'll only be a review week. Uh, there's just not enough time for students to be able to give their best shot without kind of really scrimping their time. And then you can see what we're doing in small groups. As always, everything in here is subject to change. And that includes the NWEA. If something were to happen where it wasn't ready to go, nice. We will adjust the schedule accordingly. And an email may be sent out, but students will definitely be told about it. I hope everyone has a great weekend and uh, come back Monday well rested, smiling and happy. It's supposed to be a warm weekend. Probably a little warmer than I like, but uh, not too many of these warm weekends left before, well, Michigan hits us. But I hope everyone has a minagijigad, minwa, bamapi.